Wait, oh, no. You said you were ready, they're ready, but oh, then they just swap people. Looks like he's, he is logging in, actually. I guess it's fine. He he logged in back. Yeah, at, I think it's yeah, 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 I think thing. it's okay. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. He did he did briefly disconnect there, but he's only a little bit behind there. Uh, and there, now moving on to the boss almost immediately. Yeah, just a little bit of a delay there for Salt as they did have some kind of weird, very weird issue. Uh, with Salt and issues, unfortunately, that is very common. Yeah, uh, already getting a downset there, so I think one of their players maybe got just ganged up on by the worms. If those those flash drums guys, they they have a bit of a have a bit of a, a tendency just to randomly one shot you. Uh, it's it's pretty scary actually. I gotta say. Okay, so it's so far. DPS looking very, very strong uh, for Derp, actually, and good RNG uh, for Derp as well. But the first Golem will be spawning very shortly. Can they get these pushes? Let's see. Yeah, they get the good push as well. That's good stuff uh, for Derp. This is mainly where the Epibans also starts to take the time and damage. Yeah, well, if the they can get the Epibans. Soul also gets a solid push as well. It's not quite as crisp as that of Derp. And Derp, look at those extra mirages there. They're kicking in. Like the DPS that's coming out of these... Uh, these mirages really is very, very extreme. Salt falling a little bit behind here. The golem does get pushed, but there's the epi bounce. Maybe they can get some big value out of that. A lot of confusion will kind of kick in there and get some massive damage. A wall is going to force Salt to move. That's that's quite unfortunate, but they are going to be able to get actually an, a, a pretty free epi bounce off this worm uh, uh, as well. So if, even if they don't connect it with the golem, they should get it off the worm as well. There we go. Can, is that push going to land? Yep, good push going out there from Salt. Salt is very unlucky on the wall. So far, yeah. that's been the third big wall, which unfortunately the, the last two forced them to move, but this one was semi okay. Meanwhile, Derb just didn't have to move almost at all the entire fight, uh, since you can still see some of the worms still being alive on the other side, because Epi does not kill it. Yep, yeah, uh, it looks like. Ooh. Uh, break bar. Oh, good CC coming in from Dub on the break bar. If you don't break that, guys, you instantly die. Golem gets pushed again very clean. A good execution by both teams on the mechanics of this fight. Actually, Salt is a little bit behind where they need to get that break bar. They, ooh, whoa, they do actually get it. And the push does suffer as a result. I think they all expand like, CC and kind of got a little bit mean. And again, they have to move as well. Quite yeah, unfortunate. Another big wall. Very unlucky. But on the other side, Derp also now has a big wall which they need to adjust to. But it's so far. Almost dead there. 2% for my screen. Well, there you go. Derp takes down Desmina. They have well, killed Salt it. Is 15%. Oh, they're so all relogging. Hang on a minute. If Salt doesn't relog, they can gain a lot of time here, actually. Uh, but again, wow, Salt is getting destroyed by wall RNG. What is this? Oh, what a nightmare. What an absolute nightmare. And yeah, Derp going to be moving on to the Spirit Road. Salt takes down Nesmina. Quite a little bit behind, unfortunately. I mean, Some Salt... of them are swapping, but since the, there's a little small talk Nesmina does, you can't start her unless a certain time. You have a small window where you can log Will out. Will we be seeing super connected. speed strats here, actually? Yeah, can you see that hollow Yeah, I'm fair yeah. certain we can see it on Salt as well. Yeah, we have some hollow smiths for both sides, I believe. See that hollow smith leaping forwards. Okay, that is exactly uh, what uh, what you want here because there is a trait in hollow smith that puts down a little pad when you do that. Um, hollow forge two will put down super speed for everyone who touches it, and that is going to include Desmina, making this encounter considerably faster if you're able to maintain good uptime of that super speed. Both teams, of course, sending some of their DPS players and some healers ahead to clean up the innovators so they don't slow down Desmina at all. And they'll simply let the bombers detonate and then block the bomb attack using, look, it's like this, Well of Precognition here. Or simply the uh, Distort on the F4 there as well. So both teams uh, using a very similar strategy here. And Derp looks like they do look to be executing this pretty damn well. Look at all that super speed. Desmina yeah, super making speed a lot of progress. can help a lot here. Um... You can see it on both uh, streams. Zephyx has uh, the stream which is right next to Glenna, and Mike has the one which is. Oh, uh, I got him. So we can see both uh, sides of the same thing. One so down. So meanwhile, while the DPS team is trying to burst down those uh, incinerators, this is. Uh, well, it opens up 
the possibility just to do the ages uh, on this Mina and super speed, which can help. Also, I see two Ooh, Derp having a people. A, a Derp having Ooh, a few they, issues here. They've lost two people so far. It's oh, hang on. Things oh, destabilizing. Fully dead. Uh, does it That's really not good. That we, they, I, they, I, they might have finished it. It's just uh, they didn't bother to do anything because they don't. They are not relogging. I think it's fine. Yeah, I, I think it was maybe it wasn't intentional, but it d definitely didn't matter because they already killed on the yep. impulse. Yep, yep, they're they're perfectly okay. They just uh, a little bit of a little bit of uh, messiness there for derp, but. Not a problem for them at all, and they're just progressing up the final slope. Uh, both teams are fairly close together, actually. I, yes. I must say, uh, it's not much. Sol in is abusing super speed really badly, and they're just Stelena is simply not slowed at all. It seems. Yeah, yeah, good speed uh, coming up from Sol. I think they've gained uh, a good chunk of the time that they they lost on Desmina, actually. Unfortunately, I would say the trio is. Uh... A boss which you can't speed up that well, specifically Broken Kin, is one of the boss. If you try to speed it up, you have to be very confident that you can outheal everything. Which could uh, be devastating because one greed and the entire squad can wipe. Uh, so, will you go for the extra time? Because, in my opinion, you can't speed up the Eater at all. And Portal Strat is almost similar time in every single fight I've seen so far. So, it's basically about the greed. Yeah, uh, Bro Broken King is all about like really pushing the limits of that DPS, right? You want to make it so you're just barely not wiping, right? And to be honest, I think it's probably correct to actually have a well. If you're going for a speed run, a speed kill, you do want to actually have a few players get frozen and actually just push your DPS beyond what it should be, and then simply heal them up using it, something like a dedicated healer. So probably one of those heal revs that they have left over, or something like that, if they have a heal rev. So there you go. Yeah, so Broken King already almost fifty uh, percent, two thirds of the health. Yeah, it's uh, going really fast. Yep, and let's see. Are we going to have a few players turn into ice cubes? Is uh, Derp going to go for that ultra aggressive out heal strat? They do have two healers, so they could afford to greed a little more DPS and spawn more ice and just over heal. Whereas Salt has only one healer. Oh, I see a Tempest, so probably that's a healer Tempest. Ah, uh, healer Lee! So, so definitely, they will also try to create DPS, it seems. Well, I think that is a very smart choice, and you've got to try and get any advantage you can. You don't want to be AFKing on these events, because not only are they not fun, they also take forever to do. And there we go, we do, yeah, there's the cube, actually. Yeah, we do see Derp abusing overstacking these uh these greens and then simply out healing them and that will give them a that will give them a bit of extra dps loot it means they can push the boss harder than you're really supposed to be able to push it <coughs> and kill it quicker but uh yeah salt in hot pursuit they're about on 50 percent as well destroying the boss but derb about to finish the job as well uh, yeah, so I've got some catching up to do. They need, they probably need to be going for that, uh, really aggressive green strat here. And their doom is gonna have to be absolutely spectacular. Wait, Salt may actually have a death here. Are they able to get that res? No, yes they are. No death there for Salt. And Broken really King close. is gonna fall for Dub. There we go, they're all gonna go ahead and GG and glide over to the Broken King, I think. Oh, sorry, to the Eater of Souls. Which again, this guy has a bit of a time gate. What you have to do here is you have to kill him, you have to kill a spider, get some orbs, throw the orbs onto a tile, kill the eater on a tile, then go in a green circle. Uh, but the thing is, you need two green circles regardless, okay? So what players typically do is kill two spiders uh, and then actually send four players into the second green circle. But you still have to wait for it and there's not really uh, much where you can really speed that up. You can't really get any more value out of that. Yeah, I think you salt. Spit it up so, at the end a little. Yeah. Uh, if you send five or six people, even so just to get the, the orbs faster, um, and you keep enough competent people down, you can a little speed it, but it's just saving a few seconds. Have really. Yeah, I, I think. I, I think. Yeah, I think salt's broken king is very slow. Actually, I think they played it too yeah, safe. Yeah, it is very slow. They played this far too safe, and they've given given more of a lead to Derp at this point. Not ideal for our salt team. Oh, actually, there's a GG as well. 
Mike, fully dead. But then again, the bosses as well. But yeah, I mean, they're fairly behind here. Salt needs to get some work done. Derp, powering yeah. ahead. So it's kind of, it's, it's, I would say it's kind of time gated. You cannot speed up anything besides the burn of the DPS just to kill it and get the orbs at the end. So this, well, hopefully they will be able to execute everything correctly. So we might have a very clutch match on Doom and maybe it's going to be the DPS on Doom who's what's going to be the difference between yep. these two. It, it absolutely could get pretty damn clutch. And uh, so Derp are actually pretty much done. They're just sending up those players to collect up those orbs and soon the boss will actually be killable for real. You have to collect up 18 red orbs and light up those torches. And when that happens, the boss will actually die. If you kill him now, what happens is he simply just goes back to full health. And you make no progress whatsoever, but it looks like Derp are just about to be able to finish that off. Whereas Salt, are just, uh, they're just on their second spider now, so there is a bit of a time deficit, fairly significant time deficit. Although, what happened there for Derp, actually? Something has not it gone... It seems that they forgot to pick up one or two orbs, it seems. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Go I... up again. Oh, never mind, no, no. It yeah. was... Just... I don't know what... Why didn't they go for it in the first place? Maybe some miscommunication. Oh, that was uh, very clever. Do not forget that kill. That could have been the main difference, but you can lose time on. Yeah, and it seems like a portal strat again to me. Yep, it is, of course, going to be portal strat. Very These guys risky want... strat. Yeah, but they want to do speed. They want that speed. Yeah. Let's hope they don't mess it up. If they mess this up, they will have a pretty bad time. Wait, hang on a minute. Wait, Linda, that was an interesting use of Shield 5 there. Got to be careful not to overwrite the uh, the eye stun there but they, they do get away with not doing that but yeah and this is going very well for derp this eye is getting absolutely destroyed there we go they're going to be opening the portal and then going over to the other eye right now salt just in the process of now nearly getting to the end of the eater of souls meanwhile derp they are going to be approaching doom pretty soon guys they're going to be moving in on doom very very shortly by the looks of this as this eye is getting bursted hard, as long as they can make sure it does not port, they must not use any of their CC abilities to counteract that incredibly long days. Detonating one of these lights, guys, you can see them kind of explode and the room light up. Doing that actually causes uh, the the eye to become stunned. Oh, actually, was there a slight... Uh, no, no, they do have a light. Yeah, unfortunately, either of Soul was killed, so he regen his full health, but they quickly burst it down. Oh, so there you go. I burned down. Yeah. So Soul is one trio behind right now, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There you go. Impressive stuff, guys. And Derp moving in here. Moving in to the uh, next phase. They're going on to Doom right now. With only 12 minutes on the clock, where Salt just starting their eye. So I want to say, that assuming they do a portal strat, they're probably about a minute behind at this point. So something needs to go badly. Uh, it needs to go pretty badly for uh, Derp in order for Salt to kind of get their get their footing back in this uh, in this game. I mean, this these things can happen, right? These things can happen. Let's just have a look at the composition that Derp is going to be going for. Ooh, look at Full those renegades. renegades! Six Full renegade. renegades. Full renegade with one druid as well. So ultra aggression, massive DPS strategy coming out here uh, from Derp. I, I think that's a pretty pretty good strategy. Of course, Renegade extremely powerful on this boss, and uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be Minstrel Chrono uh, for our tank player as well. For uh, from Derp, he's gonna be he's gonna be a beefy boy. He wants to contribute to the healing a little bit. I think that's to kind of compensate for having that only single druid. I think sacking some DPS in exchange for some more rit uptime. Honestly, not even a bad idea. I think. I think Derp demonstrating once again that they are a very well prepared team. <laughs> Stefex just got voice in the void, guys. <laughs> he just got voice I don't in know the if void. You see it. Yes, he did not have the five minute achievement. Wow, well, at least no. they got the five minute achievement. Pretty sick. Good stuff. Yes, yeah, Soul have not even got to Doom yet, and Derp are already hammering away at the pre event. Because they are running a very aggressive composition here, guys. With all this uh, very squishy DPS players, it is entirely possible that things start to go downhill. For these, uh, for these players. Well, but let's uh, hope that it does maintain nice and solid. With uh, no risks whatsoever. Wait a minute, is Salt going with two druids? I think they are, actually. Yes, it seems. Uh, uh, but the... it seems like a Conjure druid, actually. 
Oh yeah, so, Comedy Druid. Yeah, it is. To Comedy guarantee Druid. the might. Yeah, to guarantee. But, yeah, I guess. Hmm, you you could do F two and Revenants, but. Well, I mean, I guess it's something, right? They will. They'll have plenty of might now, and uh, well, I mean, the Connie Druid is not as much of a DPS loss, of course, running two Druids, and you're saying just standard healing Druids, but, you know, it, you know, it makes it a lot safer, they will have a lot of extra might, and some bonus healing on the group as well, bonus Connie Cleanse, plenty of damage as well, uh, from, from them. I think we, uh, we do see a fairly similar comp coming out from, uh, Salt, we see some Mirages and some Renegades, so yeah, exactly what you would expect it. From both of these teams. None of them have gone for CM though. Disappointing. Disappointing. Anyway. Let's uh, not look at the boring pre-event. Let's see the main event, guys. It is Derp starting the fight. Let's see how much DPS these guys can pull off here. I have a feeling that this is going to be a lot of damage. Actually, saving Continuum Split here, actually. Uh, yeah, that's... Well, I guess it's possible. I think I know, wait, maybe perhaps they want to instantly reboon, right? They instantly want to reboon. Possibly. Yes. Uh, after the uh, after the solar or something, so they're just delaying that a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There's the. You know, actually, no, I have no idea why he would do this, but there you go. He did it. So he kind of crippled the uh, the boon the uh, the boon up time, but that, you know, that's okay. Uh, it's uh, it's all good. Let's see. The bomb. Oh, that was a bit of a spicy bomb there, but. Healer is on it, getting some work done. <coughs> oh, fuck. Ooh. Okay, they managed to get the circle at the throne, which is the optimal. Yeah, that was very... One. That was very good It, it is very risky in a sense that if one person is falling behind, that could be the person being targeted by the circle, and that could really make the difference in position-wise. Yeah, absolutely. Not to overcap, uh, yeah, it's basically pointless to do that actually. Um, yeah. uh, if even if you delay, it, delaying CS does nothing. Honestly, it's uh, yes, it, it it really doesn't do anything. Even if you even even if you overcap, it won't make any difference. Honestly, and there you go. There's a first sort of doom already below fifty percent HP. Actually, some pretty sick shit coming out from Derp, putting that well down well, to go for the cleanse. Salt is doing safe strat, it seems. Oh yeah, they're not even they're not going for throwing. They're actually going for a, a much less aggressive strategy. And well, Doom's on one hundred percent. I mean, Derp needs to wipe, and they need to wipe now. They may lose a player, actually. No, they just get the clutch res, actually. They do get the, the, the clutch res, and Derp is powering ahead to finishing off this boss. Okay, it's going to be 30% very soon. Not much can really go wrong. I mean, obviously, aside from failing greens, it's, I mean, Derp are probably feeling pretty safe right now. Shackle does get broken. And I think they can probably just push the DPS to a phase. Ooh, ooh, ooh got to be careful of that cleave there. But there's the pull. Will you get any boons? Nope. Derp are able to wriggle out of it. There we go. Good stuff. And it looks like Derp are going to be phasing very, very soon. 21% on that boss. Can they do it before the next Sorb? I think they can. They have, yeah, they've got uh, like 10 seconds to do it. That should be, that should be plenty, I think. Oh, uh, Messenger is kind of going into their group. They're causing a few problems, a few downsides here for Derp. But I don't think that's going to matter here, guys. Oh, hang on, a lot of downsides for Derp. This oh. is getting a, oh, hang on, this is getting a little this bit spicy. It should be a rest. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. I can't mm. believe this. They're, they're, it's still doable. Still doable. It, no, still doable. It's not doable oh, no anymore. More. It's not doable no. anymore. They have restarted. I cannot believe this, guys. Salt has wiped. No, no. Derp has wiped. Derp has wiped. Not salt. No, no. Derp has wiped, guys. Salt are in a dominating position right now. All they have to do is not die. Can they do doom without dying, guys? Just play it safe, Salt. Come on, lads. Yeah, play it safe, please. We've talked about this so many times, but let's see if that actually goes through. Okay, this is some insane shit, guys, here. Salt is ahead right now. Derp have got to get through the pre-event, guys. They've got to do the fucking pre-event, boys. That is not going to be good for them. It's going to take so long. And it is Salt. Just two minutes flat. Cannot be skipped. Cannot be fast enough. No, it absolutely can. can't. There's nothing you can do to speed this up, unfortunately. Here, we see the instant replay. Do we see the instant replay, actually? Yeah, we do. We do indeed. Okay, I'm just gonna let that play through, guys, during the pre-event, so you can see that moment happen once again. Salt just needs to not miss green. There's the pull. It's 30%. There are some boons. They get instantly stripped off. 
really clutch though it was directly on the person who was in the green so yeah a bit scary a bit scary there but salt certainly is doing so well right now they are progressing forwards towards the end of doom he will be phasing pretty shortly but look at this clown fiesta that unfolds unfortunately for derp the cleave starts to happen they aren't able to get the resins they're so spread out because of the bombs and shackles that's why they aren't able to recover here soul just needs to not miss the green they don't miss it, and there's the bomb and the soul rip killing all of them. So unfortunate for Derp. And there is the wife, and sadly, there in theory there shouldn't be too much hope for uh, for the inglorious Derps here. Salt should be able, slow and steady, wins the race, guys. Nice. We yeah. won't wipe at this pace. This is the salt mentality. They are actually going to be able to take down Dirt Boys. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely insane. One of the strongest guilds in the tournament will be taken down by the Clown Fiesta, guys. Daroya would be proud. This is madness. All they have to do... I mean, if they die here, seriously, I'm kicking all of them from the fucking guild. This is goddamn ridiculous. All they have to do is do the 10% phase. Can they go out and press F and interact with a button? Are they about to do that? I think they are. They've gone for it. issues with taking orbs there, but... Uh, They've done it. The boss is being finished off now, guys. Ten percent. Ten percent. Everyone has conditions. It doesn't matter if it goes up at like five percent because the conditions can still kill it, and that kind of can guarantee the kill there as well. Yeah, I think it will be. It will be a one burn here, guys. It's three percent. It's two percent. He met. Oh no, I don't think he'll quite die to Connie's actually. Oh no, it is. Uh, there it is, guys. Twenty-one works. minutes and sixteen seconds. I cannot believe this. Salt has won and they advance on to the quarterfinals to face Meta to see who's going to be the first qualifier for the grand final, guys. I cannot believe what I'm watching here. Salt is the winner. Damn. Holy that, that shit. That was some match, yeah. That was insane, guys. I mean, we'll let this play out uh, for Derp, but I, I mean, I mean that was they were so doing so well, it was such a godlike wing sit wing five from the right, so much DPS, so clean. But in the end, it wasn't quite enough. It was not quite enough, dude. Uh, well, it wasn't quite enough because they all died. I mean, this is the thing, guys. Wing five, dude. Wing five is so risky. So damn risky. Anything can go wrong. You can die instantly. Feed instantly. No one is safe. Yo, base. Thanks for the bits, dude. Appreciate it. No one is safe at all. Okay. For one, uh, one bad shackle, one bad cleave, going in front of the boss, getting hit by a bomb, getting to. Oh wait, derp. I saw derp. Derp, derp right. destabilizing. Derp, wait, derp in a lot of trouble here. Oh. They. No, I think they're okay though. Yeah, they're okay. They should be fine. There's gonna be a circle soon, but yeah, everyone's up, so yeah, should be able to avoid that. Yeah, I think they are okay. Only one oh, player another... has been has been slain, but uh, that's not the end of the world for them, I don't think. Anyway, they are a bit spread here. Actually, some players may go down. Oh uh, yeah, they they are able to restack here, so they're they're okay actually. Another shackle goes up, but there you go. Slow and steady wins the race. Mods can't ban me at this pace. It's true, dude. It's fucking true. Wow, big stuff from Soul. Okay, so let's let's talk about our next match.